Yo, what's going on, guys? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. And would you look at that? Bitcoin's pumping. 6,500? No! I watched it drop to 3,800. And I didn't have any funds to hop on in. Trying to be responsible and pay my bills. You stupid rat! Should have fucking hopped on in and doubled my shit! Now it's 6,500. The life of a responsible adult. Sometimes you miss the dips. You know, I was up in here scooping it up at 9,800, all excited to do so. Super excited to get up in here at 9800. I was like, dude, 9800, that is a fucking steal of a deal for Bitcoin. Then what we uh we're like, all right, well uh 8600 to steal of a deal. 8200 to steal of a deal. Then it went down to 5900 and I was like, yo! That is a mega deal. Had to get up in there. Then it goes down to 3800 and I have no bullets left. So I gotta wait, gotta pay my bills. Now it's back up to 6,500. Of course, of course it is. That's the way it goes. But even 6,500 is a steal of a deal. I mean, come on guys, we all know. And hey, if you don't know, then that's good for me because it keeps the price low for as long as possible. Keep Bitcoin low, baby. Let the real dudes accumulate and stack those sats. That's what we got to do. And uh, it's only a matter of time. Like I say, man, it's only a matter of time. until so Bitcoin's 100K, 300K, a million, 2 million. I mean, there's no fucking limit, dude. When I did my price prediction, what did I predict? 2.5 million per Bitcoin at the end of 2021. Christmas 2021. And it might seem crazy, but it's it's not out of the fucking realm of possibility. It is possible because fiat currency, all fiat currency, including the US dollar, is, in fact, unlimited. It's hard to believe, but it's actually true as fuck. You know, I always go back to this uh, this example. And this music, though, crushing it, bro. I always go back to this example of my father-in-law when he bought his house in 1980. 40 years ago. Damn! But you can you can just think it doesn't have to be 40 years. It can be 20 years ago, and here's why. So he bought his house in 1980 for thirty thousand dollars. Fast forward 20 years to the to the year 2000, maybe 30 years to the year 2008, right before it crashed. So maybe 2007 was the peak. 2006 maybe so that's 26 years 27 years roughly his house was was worth like two hundred and thirty thousand dollars so you know whatever the fuck that is a, a zillion you know i don't know let's see two two hundred thirty thousand divided by thirty thousand so 7.6 so his house seven times over now people can't see that like that's gonna happen again people are like yeah right dude that can't happen again but it is gonna happen again that's what happens with the u.s dollar and all fiat currency that is going to happen again that's gonna happen again so if you got a house that's worth one hundred and fifty thousand, let's just say it's gonna seven times over again so your $150,000 house is going to be worth a million dollars. 
And people don't believe that. Even I don't believe that. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. But it's true, man. It's fucking true. That's what happens with unlimited fiat currency. And that's what's going to happen. Again. So if you got your savings in fiat currency, you're dumb. You need to buy assets. You need to buy things that go up against the dollar and all fiat currency. This is why it's inevitable if Bitcoin doesn't get hacked. You know, I know people say, oh, that's not possible. But who knows? You know, if the SHA-256 doesn't get hacked, then Bitcoin will be worth millions of dollars. Millions upon millions upon millions. Now, what those millions of dollars can buy you, that's another conversation. First, you have to understand that Bitcoin will be worth millions of dollars if it doesn't get hacked. Then we could talk about, okay, well, $1 million might buy you a $150,000 house, you know, something like that. Yeah, it might. But that doesn't change the fact that Bitcoin is worth a million dollars. Millions of dollars. You have to fucking buy assets, dude. You know, play the inflation game. Something I wish I knew. Way back when. All right, let's see what Steam's doing. But hey, I know now. <clears throat> Steam's crashing a little bit here. We got the fork coming up today. The hard fork. The hive hard fork is today. Pretty excited about that. That should be good. So let's get into some Splinter game, Splinterlands games here. The hard fork. I think we're still on an earth quest here. What do I do? The stone golem. Is it stone golem? Brownie? Brown stone? Alright, let's see. Looks good. Anything I need to do. Big Joy. Hey, we got the same lineup here? Let's see if the Chief. The Chief. Now he's going to have an extra damage and speed. But if the Chief can reduce his healing, it's going to be pretty nice. Oh, and we got our stun off. Did the Chief attack? Oh, shit. So he could have applied... All right, we're in trouble. He's stunned, but I think we're still in trouble. Whoa! Okay, affliction! We're still in trouble, though. He's going to snipe the shit out of us. He's about to snipe us. Ugh. He's got affliction, but still. Actually, actually! We got armor. He doesn't. He's stunned. Oh, we can win this! Oh, we're going to win this! Let's go, Affliction. Let's go. Affliction. All right. There's no way he wins this. We're going to wear him down. Hey, we might not be able to hit him. But we should still be able to wear him down. <laughs> Can we hit this dude? One time. I think that's all we need. One hit, baby. One hit. Stony. Stony. All right, fatigues. Oh, there it is. One hit. I think we did it. I think we did it. That one hit. As long as our spirit of the forest doesn't miss. Spirit of the what? Spirit of the forest. There we go. So, 
Shout out to my boy. The Goblin Chef. He put in work with that affliction, dude. Whew, and yeah, so I'm feeling better. S a little sick for uh, a couple days there. <clears throat> feeling a little better, but still a little groggy. I don't know. I don't think I have the coronavirus, but I might have a little something. Kids in daycare bringing shit home from all the other little kitties. Those dirty ass kids. Close range and no magic. So what do we do? We just put the Cyclops in there? <laughs> Not really good, though. We want... Damn. We want a, uh, a big dog. Oh, one short. Oh, man. Do I just want to do a five drop here, then? A four drop. Whatever. This is where we want a legendary summoner. This is where we want a Prince Renan. We don't have a Prince Renan. He's too damn expensive. Alright, so yeah, he's on it. He's thinking right. He's thinking right. Look at his little lineup here. Earth Elemental. We got a double snipe, though. Oh, no. He stunned me. But we have Affliction possible. Ugh. Ugh. Can our Affliction work? Nope. Poison's on him, but no Affliction. Dodge, baby. Dodge. Dodge, baby. Dodge. Woo! Woo! There's an affliction. Ah, we wanted that dodge. Oh, the tree! So, do we lose this? I think so. Yeah, we're gonna lose it. Damn, close though. Blondes. Have all the fun. That was a close battle, though. Alright, let's get one more in here. One mo. So yeah, you just gotta buy assets, dude. You know, people aren't gonna follow anything. People are just gonna do what they do. It's like you're you're afraid, you know. The price was crashing, Bitcoin price thirty eight hundred, four thousand. You're afraid to buy it. Now it's up to sixty five hundred. Who knows if it's gonna crash again? Short term nobody knows, but long term. Like I said with that house example, dude. We know that the it's just going to inflate. Everything's just going to go up, man. And you have to position yourself. You have to recognize, identify assets that you think are valuable. And they're just going to go up in value, man. And for me, Bitcoin is extremely valuable. It's the best thing since sliced bread, man. Sliced bread. The best thing. <laughs> so I don't know, man. We're going to see, dude. We are going to see who's right and who is wrong.
Do we do this? I think we do this. Oh, I got him. Uh, I bought the Eaton Spearman. Bought him. Got him a little bit. Do we have a stun? No, we got a stun and a knockout. Let's try to get the combo going. A stun and a knockout. We need a five. Eh, nothing really spectacular here. Let's let's try to get the combo. The Spearman is going to do double damage if the Goblin Mech can stun. That's going to be cool. Oh, Void. Everybody's getting Void and Affliction, though. We don't have cleanse, unfortunately. Damn, his team is is freaking good. But oh, he's got knockout. Does he have a stun? He doesn't have a stun though, but he's got a knockout. I like his team. All right, so we can't heal. Can't heal. He's also got blind. All right, stun, baby, stun. Ah. He got trampled? No. Damn. That pierce was nice, though, from the Spearman. Ah, oh, the Boogeyman. He's got Void. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Tearing us up. Tearing us up. Dude, this summoner is really good. I got to get a big dog. I got to get a big dog like that. All right, so that's going to be it for this Friday edition of the stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody has a great day and a great weekend. I'll catch you all on Monday. Later.